Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Wen Jin Li, Associate Professor in Chemical Engineering Department at Iowa State. I'm very happy to be here to give my presentation on paired electrolysis of 5 hydromethyl furfural HMF for production of higher valued chemicals in electrochemical flow cells in the ECS meeting uh, F06 session, process intensification using electrochemical rods. Uh, one way to effectively reduce in process intensification is to use electrochemical rods or electrochemical process. As furanic compounds have been identified by U.S. Department of Energy as one uh, top 10 biomass derived feedstocks for higher value of chemical production, in my group recent years, we focus uh, our research on achieving efficient and practical uh, electrocatalytic conversion of HMF for uh, bell based monomers, for example, FDCA and BHMF. They can be used for synthesis of bell polymers, uh, PF, for example, or, or polyester or polyurensins. We are also developing uh, eva efficient electrocatalyst and electrochemical process systems for paired HMF reduction and oxidation. So in our previous research through voltammetry uh, experiments, we have shown that HMF reduction and oxidation on silver carbon uh, catalyst or uh, tempo-mediated process on glassy carbon can be paired without varying much about water splitting. The relative potentials for oxidation and reduction of HMF uh, indicate that the paired electrolyzer could be operated as uh, little as 1.6 volt. Um, since both reactions are kinetically uh, favorable compared to corresponding uh, hydrogen and oxygen evolution reaction at a cathode and anode, uh, which should allow high overall charge efficiency for HMF uh, uh, generation. Therefore, we have demonstrated that the paired electrolysis can be uh, taken in each type um, batch cell, the anode volume of HMF uh, concentration uh, will decrease compared to cathode to count for the overall reaction stoichiometry three to one. So the cell was operated by the cathode potential control mode at one point, a negative 1.3 volt after passing through the charge to reach about 100% theoretical uh, completion, both halves reactions reach high yield as showing here about 86 86% uh, for BHMF and 96% for FDCA. It is very interesting to know that the yields are similar to those in two separate unpaired uh, batch reactor uh, HTAP cells, indicating that there were no major undesired effects for pairing these two uh, electrochemical half reactions. However, since the electron participating in generating two uh, products, the paired cell can actually achieve uh, over 187% of uh, electron faradic efficiency, a nearly two-fold enhancement compared to the unpaired cells. However, we found a critical challenge. The overall cell voltage uh, can be uh, greater than seven volts. So this motivated us to explore low voltage flow electrolyzers in order to improve the energy efficiency of you know, the overall uh, paired electrolysis. Uh, so based on our finding generated from each type cell, so we recently developed the two flow cells, uh, namely one is three electrode based flow cell with the spacer and a lot of time we put, uh, we insert uh, reference electrode, silver, silver chloride uh, reference electrode. So this cell uh, can help us to accurately control the cathode potential for uh, electrochemical reduction of HMF. The other cell is uh, more like a pure cell structure. So we call it membrane electrode assembly, MEA based flow cell. For paired electrolyzer, if we count its Faraday efficiency, you know, some uh, theoretical uh, Faraday efficiency can go up to 200%. So 
The overall goal is to reduce the capital expenses, minimize energy consumption, and simplify the process steps, as well as to increase the mass transport of reactants to achieve a higher uh, energy uh, efficiency uh, electrochemical process. So we built up a three electrode uh, flow cell to study uh, electrochemical reduction of uh, ECH of HMF on silver uh, catalyst first. Uh, in the cathode chamber, we actually inserted a uh, reference electrode silver silver chloride to monitor and control the cathode potential. And uh, OER just naturally occurs as a counter reaction at the end of the site. So we have successfully prepared oxide derived silver, which gives uh, 13 times greater electrochemical surface area compared to smooth silver uh, foil. We found that the selectivity to BHMF, the desired product or target product, was very well controlled by applied cathodic potential on both uh, silver foil and OD silver. So while OD silver uh, showed better ECH performance as compared to silver foil, at a given potential, you can see both selectivity to BHMF and uh, uh, the desired product and the conversion of HMF are higher on silver, OD silver as compared to uh, silver foil. So we further compared the HMF reduction performance on silver foil and on uh, OD silver in both H type cell, that's a batch type uh, reactor, and uh, uh, flow cell, that's a you know, flow, flow reactor. So we found that the OD silver in the uh, uh, flow cell actually gives the best performance in terms of BHMF selectivity and HMF conversion, followed by uh, OD silver uh, in H cell and silver foil foil in uh, flow cell and silver foil in, in each cell. So we also demonstrate that HMF conversion is over uh, 80% uh, and BHMF selectivity well maintained at uh, over 80% for a long time in three hours hydrogenation reaction. So we then paired HMF reduction of electrocatalytic hydrogenation ECH with electrocatalytic oxidation or ECO of uh, HMF. Based on analysis of equilibrium potential for ECH uh, OER and the ECH ECO, we can find that the ECH uh, ECO cell actually gives a much lower equilibrium potential compared with ECH OER cell, uh, 1.11 volt versus 0.33 volt. We actually use temple uh, mediated uh, HMF uh, oxidation as temple is oxidized to temple plus. Temple plus can oxidize HMF to finally FDTA through a combined series uh, reaction uh, network. So our linear uh, scanning voltmetry showed that at low current density, uh, the cell voltage of only one point uh, 5 volt for the ECH uh, ECO cell, saving about 0 0.5 volt uh, as compared to uh, conventional ECH OER cell, which suggests that uh, quite a big energy uh, saving. We then paired the ECH and the ECO of uh, HM, uh, HMF in a paired uh, three electrode flow, flow cell. Uh, the results shown uh, here, the flow cell demonstrated a similar performance as compared to H cell and high fire efficiency to both BHMF and F FDCA at higher, uh, higher conversion of HMF. However, it is important to know that the cell voltage drops from, uh, from about a 7.1 volt uh, from H cell to about only 2.1 volt from a flow cell. This is mainly due to the big resistance drops in H cell uh, to the flow cell. So in H cell, the resistance is uh, close to 500 uh, ohm, while flow cell is only uh, around uh, 30, 39 ohm. So while the durability uh, further uh, 
it shows that the flow cell are stable for three hours uh, operation. So in order to further reduce the cell voltage, we replace the ECO of HMF by uh, hydrogen oxidation reaction, that's uh, HOR, but of course we need to supply um, supply molecular hydrogen to the anode chamber to oxidize hydrogen, okay? Uh, it's actually also serve, uh, so HOR actually also serve as um, both counter and reference electrodes, so we do not need to insert silver, silver chloride reference electrodes at the cathode chamber, so the anodic HOR on platinum paired with ECH of HMF on the um, silver, OD silver cathodes further reduce the cell voltage to only about uh, 0.8 volt, while the selectivity to BHMF maintained at greater than uh, 80%. So we further study the membrane electrode assembly based uh, flow cell, MEA based flow cell in order to minimize the cell voltage because there is no spacer in the cell design. Thus it can provide a unique compact zero gap configuration. This will help us to reduce the internal resistance while the MEA based flow cell is flexible to various glass uh, gas diffusion electrode or GDE-based catalyst and different reaction architectures. For example, the membranes, pH, uh, and feed cell can be uh, flexibly uh, adjusted. Thus, it can benefit the long-term stability of the flow cell uh, operation. So next, we compared three different membranes, namely anion exchange membrane AEM, cantile exchange membrane CEM, and bipolar uh, membrane BPM. As you can see that ion, ion transport is, mechanism is different for AEM. You actually conduct hydroxide ions from cathode side to anode side. While for CEM, uh, the potassium kind ions transport from anode side to cathode side. Well, for BHM, it's actually water splitting to get the protons cross from BPM to the uh, an cathode chamber where well, hydroxide ion uh, transport from the BPM uh, to the uh, anode chamber. So we demonstrate that on the three membrane uh, based cells, the cell stability are, are pretty good. The Faraday efficiency to uh, BHMF, FDCA are, are, quite, are quite close. But in sharp comparison, the BHM uh, base cell gives a higher cell voltage as compared to AEM and CEM based cells. We showed continuous 24 hour stability electrolysis can be achieved at uh, a high party efficiency of over 130%, and the minimum cell voltage is only around 1.5 volts. So, tempo mediator can facilitate uh, HMF. Uh, oxidation. However, it is a uh, homogeneous uh, catalyst, right? Because it's dissolved in the anode electrolyte, its separation the cost can be, uh, could be a potential issue. Therefore, we are interested in some solid catalyst uh, based on uh, transition metal, for example, nickel and iron-based catalyst. However, the nickel iron-based catalyst for HMF oxidation to FDCA need a high pH. Therefore, we, we built a pH asymmetric uh, ar architecture means at the cathode side, we use near neutral pH, pH 9.2, while pH 13 for HMF uh, oxidation at, uh, at the anode side. So we found that the Faraday efficiency to FDCA can be very well maintained at around 80%, uh, with similar uh, FE to BHMF at the cathode. In the pH uh, symmetry cell, the CEM showed a uh, lower cell voltage as compared to bipolar uh, membrane. Its initial cell voltage is only 1.5 volts at uh, five milliampere per centimeter square current density operation. So finally, I'm gonna show you some uh, tiny reactor design based on uh, our uh, uh, electro, uh, uh, electrolyzer. So as we have noted that a critical challenge faced to the paired electrolyzer for HMF oxidation and reduction is the low current density operation. 
because of mass transport limit of HMF. This means that when we increase operation current density, the fiatic efficiency to BHMF will drop and lots of hydrogen gas can be produced. So in our work, we first demonstrate that electrolysis can be integrated with heterogeneous catalytic reduction of the aldehyde, for example, uh, furfural or benzo benzoaldehyde. We actually applied a high current density uh, uh, at 280 milliampere per centimeter square, but we just get very low body efficiency to a BHMF at around 24%. However, we can take advantage of the co-produced hydrogen to heterogeneous catalytic reduction uh, of this uh, to aldehyde using a commercial uh, palladium nanoparticle supporting on carbon uh, catalyst. We found that the overall, uh, overall selectivity from B, uh, BH, uh, HMF to BHMF, but when we integrate the electrolyzer with the catalytic reactor can go up to uh, about 75%. Uh, um, well, you know, finally, we compared the benzoyl alcohol and the furfural alcohol production rate between the electrocatalytic hydrogenation and catalytic hydrogenation process with thermal catalytic hydrogenation process. We found that the alcohol pro production rates from the two processes are actually quite close. This provides us with a new approach to build uh, electrocatalytic reactor and a catalytic reactor, what we call uh, tandem reactors for aldehyde hydrogenation. So this reactor design idea may be broadly used for many other biorenewable chemical manufacturing in the in the future. So finally, let us uh, let me summarize our uh, research. So first, hopefully, I um, have uh, shown you the three electrode flow cell uh, was demonstrated for HMF paired electrolysis with oxide derived silver as cathode and half cell potential control mm -hmm. for high selectivity. So we also demonstrate that membrane electrode assembly or MEA based flow cell in a uh, pH uh, asymmetric uh, and mediator existed and, and pH asymmetric mediator free configurations. So finally, uh, we have shown that a uh, combined Faraday efficiency of over 160% with minimized cell voltage of 1.5 to 2.1 volts was obtained. A further optimization of the cell is still required to increase the total charge efficiency and further improve the energy efficiency. We published our papers uh, in this year in Green Chemistry, Chem, Chem Electrochem, and the Current Opinion in Electrochemistry. If you are interested in our research, you can uh, read our uh, papers. So finally, I want to thank uh, my group members, uh, Hengzhou, uh, uh, Hengzhou Yifu, Xiao Tong, uh, uh, David Chaladin, uh, Xiao Tong Chaladin, uh, Chaladin Yang Chiu, uh, and uh, uh, my other uh, group members, my collaborators, professors uh, Cochran, Tansonia, Shanks, and Pansani. My funding source comes from NSF, uh, Iowa Energy Center, USDA. Uh, finally, I will uh, thank, thanks a lot for your attention. I'll be very happy to answer your question if you have.